Really? Mm. Aidan's got this new client, so he wants me to knock together some samples. Oh, I hope he's paying you. Mm. Cash in hand, if you please. He says knock up, but that's not really my style. See, not one to blow my own trumpet, but I'm more like the Michelangelo of ladies' undergarments. Mm, so modest. Mm. Aidan reckons this client could get Underworld back on track. <laughs> Looks like it's down to me to save the factory. <laughs> See you, Shona. See you. You're on your own. Little playmate Marina out tonight. Can we please leave it? Love a pint, Tom. Mm, right, you are. Ooh. Now that's some yawn. Open your gob any wider, you'll dislocate your jaw. Sorry. I know I'm supposed to be all perky and welcoming, but I'm absolutely knackered. You've been living at large. No, I wish. I just think I'm coming down with something. Oh, tell me your symptoms. I'll run them past Dr. Google. Go on. All right, well, I feel sick. I have the weirdest taste in my mouth. Like what? Do you know what it's like? It's like I've been sucking old pennies. Oh. What? That's not serious, is it? It's a disaster. Look, you don't know for sure yet, so there's no need to panic. Oh, honestly, I could swing for Simon. All right, what have I missed? Oh, oh Eve was feeling nothing, a bit ill, I was just going to keep over. <laughs> I've just not eaten that much today, that's all. Oh, cool. I've just not had time. I'll grab a butty in a minute. Mum, will you tell him? Ah, oh, what now? He's acting mad, he's laying down the law. Hey, get in the bag now. See, he's a nightmare. People come in here to relax, not listen to a stroppy teenager shouting the arts. Right, so I get in the back, I'll be there in a minute. We've got to sort this out now, Liam. Well, I can't, I've got to cover the bar, he even needs a rest. Oh, uh, ain't no one fine now, honest. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll grab some peanuts, a bit of protein. That'll do me till you can cover. Right, OK. Well, if you feel funny, just come and get me. Yeah, yeah of course. You keep your gob shut, you. Not that there's anything to blab about, cos I'm sure that there's not, but just keep it zipped, yeah? Right. Oh, hello. Fine, is it? Oh, no, I'm not stopping, Tart. Are you feeling any better? I am absolutely fine. Yeah, I, I just think we was being a bit previous before, you know, jumping to conclusions. You think? Yeah, yeah. I've had a hot pot, so that sorted me out nutrition-wise, and then I had a suck on a fisherman's friend, so that minging taste in my mouth's just completely gone now. Right. <clears throat> I'm sorry for having a go at you before. I just, just had one on me. Oh, forget it. We're fine now. That's the main thing. Have you, uh, you come in just to check on me? It's kind of you. Actually, I, um, I brought you this. I hope you don't think I'm being cheeky. In a pharmacy bag, well, if it is what I think it is... Honestly, thanks, but no thanks. I don't need it. I think we've kept the receipt. I'll tell you what, why don't you keep hold of it? Humour me. I'll see you later. Hey, the answer it was OK or fine. You're not ready. Is, is that what time it is? Please tell me you've not forgotten I've got a date tonight. No, of course I haven't. Oh, Adam, I'm so sorry. It's been manic in here today. Well, all the more reason to get out for a bit. Simon's been suspended from school. Leanne and Toya have been at each other's throats. I thought it was pretty much normal around here, no? Oh, don't even get me started on Peter. He's got a right temper on him. My head's banging with it all. Oh, sorry, guys. Don't let me bother you. Carry on. All right, well, forget it now. Let's go back to mine, watch a movie, get a takeaway. That sounds amazing. But All I need right now is just a long, hot soap and an early night. On my own. Hey, uh, I hate to ask. I know this is really bad timing, but is there any chance I could stay in yours tonight, mate? <laughs> I know, I know I'm a really poor substitute. understand that. You said it. It's just that, um... Me and Toys had a row, so I could do with keeping my head down for a bit. Yeah, no problem. You'll be on the couch, though. That's great, man. That, that suits me. Right, I'll, I'll just grab my sleeping bag. I'm really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Hey, don't worry about it. Sweet dreams.
special delivery. For me? Well, I don't see anyone else from oh, here, do you? Oh, what a lovely thought. Here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I won't get too carried away. It's only a cup of tea and a bacon butty. What, no custard slice? For breakfast? I'm joking. Here, you're a good one. <laughs> Still no word on Todd? Afraid not, no. Oh. Jason. Hi, love. What? Say that again. We sent you for a pregnancy scan last year, but you didn't turn up. Yeah, um, yeah, sorry about that. Was everything okay? Um, I, I wasn't really pregnant. I faked it. Honestly, I really don't want to get into that right now. But it's real this time? Yeah. I think so. According to the test. Well, they're generally accurate. Yeah. 99%. I read the small print. More than once. I just don't get it. I've had absolutely no signs that I might be pregnant. Well, the obvious indicators aren't always reliable. It happens more often than you think. So when can I have a scan? You'll get a letter in a few days. Um, is there no way I can have one sooner? Please, I really need to know how far gone I am. It's urgent. Urgent in what way? It just is. Please, I really need to know. Let me see what I can do. I've been visiting him as much as I can, but I've heard that you've been there more than me. Oh, yeah, I've not been for a few days, though. Just wonder if there's any change. No, I don't think so. Mind you, Eileen's got some news that I think will cheer him up. No way. I'm sorry. It's not for me to say. Hey, I would have hung about if I knew you were coming. Oh, no, I'm just getting a takeout myself. All right, well, let's make it a breakfast date tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. How's Peter? Ah, you'll live. I don't think I'm cut out for a career in counselling for. <laughs> See you soon, yeah? Someone looks worried. I've just been to the doctors. And? I've got a scan this afternoon. That quick? Yeah, well, I told her it was urgent. Practically had to beg her. Do you have anyone to go with? No, but I'll be fine. Don't be daft. I'll come. What time? Three. Are you sure? Of course, yeah. You don't have to do this, you know. I know I don't. But you can't be going for a scan on your own. I'll ask Rive can knock off early. Thank you. Nice to have someone with me. I'll put the kettle on. Do so much stronger, to be honest. Well, you can forget that for a while, unless. Oh, come on. It's not the end of the world, isn't it? Flaming knackered. And I swear my ankles have got fatter already. Look, you just need to make your mind up about what you're going to do. The sooner you've got a plan, the better you'll feel. I wish it was that simple. Well, the first thing you need to do is speak to Adam. It's none of his business. Well, of course it is. No matter what you decide to do, he's still got a right to know. Shona, just leave it, will you? Well, what, would you really be happy keeping something like that from him? Look, I really appreciate you coming to the scan with me, but I don't want to talk about it anymore. OK. Fair enough. I was only trying to help. Sorry. Oh, don't apologise. I understand. No, you don't. Not really. The reason it's none of Adam's business is because... It's not even his baby. Well, me and Adam have been super careful every time. And the scan says I'm 17 weeks, so... Aiden. Aiden's the dad. Not Adam. Dense, you're, you're so... Unlucky. Skinny. I put some weight on, but I just... She thought it was stress. But there must have been other signs. What, you mean like me missing periods? Everything that's been going on recently, my head's been a mess. I didn't even notice I was late. I thought I had a tough time of it getting up the stick at 13. At least I sort of knew what was going on. Yeah. That's what worries me. What do you mean? It's just all happened so fast. I'm not ready for it. 
Well, she was a large glass of lady petrol. I suppose I'll have to knock that on my head till I decide what I'm gonna do. You mean if you're gonna go through with it? Karma, this, innit? Me being up the podge after lying to Aiden. <laughs> he was so excited when he thought he was gonna be a dad and all. Are you gonna tell him? What if I decide to keep it? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, after what I did to him and his family, they're hardly gonna be over the moon, are they? God knows what I'm gonna tell Adam. Well, you can't do this on your own. You're gonna need help, support. Maybe you should speak to Leanne and Toya before you talk to anyone else. See what they think. They probably think exactly what I am. How the hell did this happen? You're right. Tea in trouble. Oh, is there any other kind? Have you got any plans tonight? I'm meeting Gary. Bethany's fuming. Mm. Wait, did he say how the trial's going? Mm, hard to tell, he says, but it can't be easy. I'll fill you in later. Mm. Bye. Are you going to sit in the pub all afternoon? Hey, don't knock my hobbies. Look, were you, um, were you serious before? I don't know. It's going so well with Adam. Oh, well, will the dates even work? Yeah, give or take. I mean, we've been careful every time, but accidents happen, don't they? Tell me about it. I mean, one decision. Because if you want to keep stum, you're going to have to make one. You're not going to get away with wearing tight fitting, slinky outfits for much longer. Why can you tell? Do I look fat? You look absolutely gorgeous, babe. Um, oh, I think it was those crab paste butties I made before. It's white bread. It always blows me up. Tell her she looks a knockout. Yeah, a knockout is always. <laughs> right. I better get gone. If I stay in this boozer much longer, I'm going to get a reputation. Yeah, I think that dinghy sailed. Oh. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Right, and uh, I'll go get ready. Right. You know stuff? No, oh, if only I could so. <laughs> hey, but you know what they say, if you want a job doing, give it to a busy woman. Well, bring it on. The busier, the better, I say. <laughs> you know what? Good for you. <laughs> hey, I hope that caffeine does the trick. Well, I have to have something to keep me going through the night. No offence to death. <laughs> <laughs> See you. <laughs> See you later, love. Hey. Eva. So are you in her back on then, or what? Who? Maria? Yes, Maria. Apparently we're all over each other. Why do you care? You're with Adam? Yeah. Yeah, I am. So that's what we needed to talk about? No! Do you know I don't matter? Hey, 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 don't matter. Eva! Hey, I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. Are you hurt? Let me carry on over to the bed. No! I just want to go home. It's OK, I've got this. I'm sorry, Eva. He's being an idiot. You should have told him about the I baby. know. All oh, right. Well, I thought that... I decided this morning. I thought, all right, come on, Eva. Be a grown-up. He's the kid's dad. He has a right to know. The thought of doing the whole shared parenting thing with him. Especially if that cow, Marie, is back on the scene. No, thank you. You're pregnant. <laughs> Look, she's had a fall down some steps. I really think we should get you to a &E and get you checked out. I'm fine. Yeah, but you can't be too careful. I'll look after her. OK, if you're sure. But do me a favour, any twinges, get yourself to A&E, &E, OK? Thank you. I presume it's Aidan's. Pretty ironic, isn't it? Are you sure? I mean, what about Adam? No, it's Aidan's. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you. How could I? And I didn't want to admit it. Not even to myself. Yeah, well, I know now, don't I? So... I'm here if you want to talk. You still should have told me. I was going to. Yesterday. Then you got your news. How could I? I'm sorry. Hey, don't be daft. No, I should have been there for you. I should have been the one you were confiding in, not blooming Shona from the calf. I didn't. She guessed even before I did. So what are you going to do? I honestly don't know. I was all ready to tell Aidan and then... Oh, so he doesn't know? No. I was going to tell him, but if he's back with Maria... I... Is he? I think so. 
I don't think I can handle him wanting to be part of the baby's life. And you think he would? What a mess. So flaming angry with him that I started having a go and went flying down the factory steps. Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just... Oh! Right, there's only one way to be certain. If Shona was right, you need to get checked out at the hospital, whether you like it or not. Come on. Wait. Hmm? You know, you'd think I'd be sick of the sight of tea if I'd after spending all day in the cafe. Oh, um... I meant to tell you, I saw Gary earlier, and it looked like he'd had a row with a bag of bricks. Yes, uh, I know. I, I went to the hospital, saw him after it happened. Oh. Actually, um, he was here earlier. Oh? Why don't you sound like you're judging? Uh, hey, not me. I think I want to get back with him. Are you sure that's a good idea? What happened to not judging? Uh, hey, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. It's just, you know, this baby's having. Are you really going to be able to cope with that? Him and the baby's mum. You know, a parent and child. It's a strong bond. Yeah, I know, but you and David, you've been able to make it work. Yeah, so believe me when I tell you, if you take this on, it is not going to be easy. I know. And what does Bethany think? Are you okay? Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Let's just go, eh? No. No, you need to get the baby checked. You can't be too careful. What will you do now? Will you get another surrogate? I'm not sure. It's like everything goes into it. I mean, you know you. You go through the motions, work, family, chit-chat, but... Really, it's, it's all you can think about. So tired. Sorry. Hey, your baby is going to be absolutely fine. I know I should want it. I can't believe I'm going to say this to you of all people. But I don't feel anything. Not love, not happiness, just nothing. Wish it never happened. Eva Price. Is everything okay? Baby seems fine. As I explained in A and E, you've got a bit of bruise into a couple of ribs. So if you saw for a few days. Do you want to look? Would you like to know the sex? Um, is, is that possible? Of course. If you want to. Eva? It's a girl. Are we finished? Oh, yeah, all done. Mm. Thank you. For coming, I know how hard that must have been for you. Yeah, well, uh, so long as you're okay. Far from it okay, even without the bruised ribs. Look, Eva, uh, I know how daunting this must seem, having a baby on your own. Yeah, I... That's just it. I, I don't think I can. I'm sorry for saying that to you, but it's the truth. You mustn't confuse how you feel about Aidan with how you feel about the baby. How can I not? It's his baby. Everything that he did, everything that we went through, why would I want a constant reminder of that? Well, you've just got to look past all of it. What if I can't? Hey, hey. Look, you're still hurting and he's still angry. But it will pass. I mean, you're already moving on, aren't you, with Adam? <gasps> That's just it. I actually want to move on. Just don't make any rash decisions that you might end up regretting, OK? And for what it's worth, I think you would be a great mum. I'm working till close. All right, well, uh, maybe I'll pop in later. Yeah, like that. Look, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. The whole thing was my fault, as no, usual. No, Aiden. 
that you could have really hurt yourself. I'm fine. Like I should have been more sensitive. You were upset about Marie for some reason. Could you just forget it, please? Yeah, but the thing is, we're not even... Aiden, you don't have to explain. <sighs> I suppose not. You and Adam are obviously loved up, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Let's face it, it could have been worse for you than I was. Look, I, I want you to move on. Be happy. Yeah, well, um, that's what I came to say to you earlier. It is. It's good that we can still be friends, though, eh? Yeah, um, the thing is, I, I don't think I can. Why not? I just feel like too much has happened. You mean Adam? He's happened. Sorry. Me too. See ya. Eva, if you were to tell him about the baby, then he'd resent us both for the rest of our lives. He wants to forget him and me ever happened, move on and be mates. What well, mates could work. I mean, look, whatever you are to each other, Aidan has a right to know. Pot calling kettle, do you not think? we we'll just drop it, please. Eva, a baby could be the making of you. Toya, I can't have the baby that you wanted, all right? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, nothing's gonna replace the baby that you lost. Of course it's not, but if I'm being honest, I just don't know if I can have this baby. In my head, in my heart, I just don't feel it. Okay, so what then? Uh, a termination? Because time's running out. I know, I know. This is such a mess. What we like. You want the baby you can't have, and I'm having a baby that I want to get rid of. You don't have to. What? You don't have to terminate this pregnancy. I don't have a choice. You do. You do have a choice. Yeah, and uh, the number of the court is on the fridge in case of emergency. OK, I, I'm not going to call the court if we run out of bacon. I'll manage. we best go, Roy. Come on. Bill, cheers, mate. Good luck. Hope it goes well. I suspect he's being sarcastic. There you go. I need the change. I was smashing that. Cheers. <laughs> well, anyway, nice bumping into you, huh? You never said if you were going for the mill job. No, I didn't do that. Same old Pat. Keeping cars close to your chest, eh? See you, Bill. See you. How's Eileen? I heard that Summer's back, but still no Todd. Yeah, she's not great, but thanks for asking, Shola. Thanks. It's me, you know. Don't be daft. There's nothing I like more than sitting with a bunch of sick people reading copies of Hello from the 90s. I mean, I know what my options are. I just want to talk through them with a professional. Yeah, I know that. I'll be waiting. Hey! Nobody's sick, I hope. Um, oh, Eva's keeping me company. Ah, oh, right, OK. Have you heard that Summer's back? Aye, but no Todd. Yeah, I can't believe he's on the run. I know, Billy's at rock bottom after his accident. Now this. We need to be there for him. Yeah, of course, yeah. See you later. Good luck. Thanks. So, uh, did she change her mind at all, or...? Um, she just wanted to talk through options, really. Future plans. Future plans, I said, what are they? <laughs> so, I just need a bit more time. Just to think things through properly. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, listen, I should probably get back to work, because uh, Liz will be cursing me. Okay. See you later. Thank you. Hiya, yeah, I'd like to book a termination, please. Some great deals online. Yeah, I'm up for that. Let's get practising. Um, encore Prosecco, por favor. Oh, same fluent. Well, not quite. That's like half French, half Spanish. Uh, well, all right. It's multilingual then. Ah! Oh, don't get any ideas set behind these two. No, what do you mean? Well, with the fancy bottles and the buckets talking about foreign holidays. So, my mum, Stella, always been obsessed with Italy. So a few years back for a birthday, thought, right, book some cheap flights to Tripoli. Tripoli's not in Italy. Well, I know that now, don't I? It's in flaming Libya. 
There was an actual civil war going on. I mean, it's no wonder the flights were so cheap. And when did you realise? When we got to the desk at the airport. Heels, hot pants and halter neck tops. I mean, the guy behind the desk was like, are you sure you're going to the right place, love? You are one of a kind. Doesn't it sound Italian, though? Truppoli. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, absolutely. All right. Oh, it's my mum. Oh, answer it. I'm gonna go and have a chat with Eva anyway. All right, well, tell her to turn her laugh down. What? So, um... <clears throat> have the abortion, then. Wow, blunt. <clears throat> That's me. Well? No. But I am all booked in for tomorrow, and then I'm free. Yeah, I might give it a go, and all. You in a boxing ring? Yeah, holding up the round cards, maybe. No offence, mate, but that's pretty Neanderthal. What about having a scrap in public or not? I mean, she, she can't have a fight. I mean, her nails won't fit in the glove for a start. Oh, yeah. Well, have you know that I was a regular at boxer size? Really? How many KOs, then? Right, sign me up. With pleasure. <laughs> there we are. What's Carla's surname? Van Winkle. Well, she doesn't ordinarily sleep this late. Many's the time I've come down, opened up and found her on the doorstep, craving black coffee. Mm -hmm. oh, here's another will be wanting some. I'll check her again. Well, you don't look too bad, considering the amount you put away last night. Yeah, well, I need a bit of Dutch courage, didn't I? Made everything seem very straightforward yesterday. And today? Eva? The right choice isn't always the right thing, is it? But I've got to do it. I don't want to do it, but I've got to do it, so... If I have this baby, it's not fair on anybody, least of all the kid. You know, if you're having doubts, you shouldn't go through no, with it. I've made my mind up. Just hope I can live with myself. Time's your appointment. I have to. I'll just wait to be over. Have you got anyone to go with you? Um, Toya can't make it, so there's not anybody else I can ask, really. <laughs> oh, is there not? I am not asking you to do that. Look, what, what type of friend would I... What type of woman would I be if I let you do this on your own? Are you working? Yeah, only till two. So I'm coming with you, no arguments. You need to take this seri seriously. Seriously. Here we go. I only want to be with you. Oh, you're up. I was about to call the undertaker. Oh, well, there's no harm in stopping up with you to sleep, is there? I mean, goodness knows I need it these days. Give over. If that were the case, it'd be no hope for the rest of us. You look great. Appearances can be deceptive. See you later. See you. Hi. Hi. Um, look, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened. Um, you and Michelle can consider yourselves unbarred. <laughs> I shouldn't have accused you. No, you shouldn't. You know, if Peter were the last man on Earth, I'd be building myself a rocket. Well, you don't have to worry about Peter. No, I don't. It's your job now. Okay. Uh, coffee, please. Make it a strong one. Is everything all right? Trust me, you don't want to know. Oh, I am. Um, I already do. Eva told me. What? Oh, no, don't worry. She's not going to be on her own. I'm going to head to the clinic once I've finished here. Clinic? Oh, sorry. I thought you knew. Which one? I need you to tell me, Shona, which clinic? Toya. Hey. Shona told me you were here. She wanted to come, but I thought three might be a crowd. Look, if you've come to change my mind, I don't... No, I haven't. I haven't. It's your body, and I respect your decision completely. I just thought you might appreciate a friendly face. Hey? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Oh, she seems so lovely when she's being interviewed. Who does? Nicola Adam is a boxer. She's beating the living daylights out of this poor girl. Well, what did you think she'd be doing? Swapping knitting patterns? It's a fight, it's not a coffee morning. I don't know, but I didn't think they actually... What? They eat each other. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No. I'm not having second thoughts. About what? Mm. They were arranging a charity boxing match in memory of Luke, so I signed up. You! <laughs> yeah, 
know, don't sound so surprised. No, no, good on you. I uh, used to love a good dust up back in the day. Queensby rules, of course. Mm, not exactly, but I never bit anyone. That's nice. So what's brought this on? I don't know, I just fancied a challenge. Yeah, right. Fancied that Josh block who's organising it more like. Uh, no, I didn't. David, Luke meant a lot to me at one time. I'm doing this for him. Come on. You fluttered your eyelashes anymore, he'd have took off. That's well, why I don't blame her. I told you he's well fit. Wish well, she can do better than some pumped up grease monkey. That's for sure. Be late. It's so wrong, this, leaving me to stew. It's only five minutes. I know, but I just want to get it done. You're frightened you might change your mind? I thought you were here to support me. Yeah, I am. Look, if you're sure about this, then I'll back you all the way, but... It's all happened very fast. It's now or never. This has been the hardest decision of my life, and I hate myself for it, OK? Hey, it's not your fault that you're in this situation. But you can't let how you feel about Aiden or, or anyone else cloud your judgment. The baby's all that matters. And if you're sure that you feel absolutely nothing for it... <laughs> I lied about that. <laughs> myself more than anyone. I always thought I'd be a mum one day. Just not like this. Hey, listen. Plenty of single parents do a brilliant job. And you'd have me and Leanne. Leanne's dead busy and you've got a pub to run. But well, there's always adoption. It's easily said, isn't it? It's all time comes for me to give my baby away. I don't think I can do that. But you can have a termination. It's not the same. If I go through with this pregnancy, how am I going to explain things to Adam? Aidan's bound to find out. I can't cope with that. I just can't. This is it. This is the only way now. Miss Price. So sorry for the delay. If you'd like to follow me. Um, hold on. Um, she'll just be a sec. Sorry. OK. Come through when you're ready. Thank you. The other day, you said that I wanted a baby that I couldn't have. And you're having a baby that you don't want. Can you honestly tell me that in that moment, you didn't have the exact same thought that I did? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, you're as good as family. I know that baby would be loved. Oh. No child would be wanted more. So what do we do? I mean, it's all right talking about it, but... Well, yeah, I mean, we'd have to send you away when you started getting bigger. Well, what would I tell Adam? We'd come up with something. What if Aidan finds out? Well, we'd just have to make sure that he didn't. I mean, oh, this is back of an envelope stuff. I mean, I don't know, it might not work. I just wish we had more time. Is everything all right? Um, I'm really sorry. I've, I've changed my mind. Eva, look, if I have to reschedule, then I'm rescheduled. But if I stay here now, it's final. And that's something we might both regret for the rest of our lives. The centrepiece. Come on. Hey. Oh, uh, you're just off out for your meal. Yeah, we are. You sure you don't want to come? Here, give him here. No, I'm done in. Yeah, me and all. Well, you've been plucking all day. Hey? You know, eyebrows, eyelashes. Uh, your beauty course, you said it wasn't much cop. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it wasn't. But um, thank you for covering for me. Yeah, no problem. Right, shall we rock and roll, kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Thank you. I didn't know whether I was coming or going there. Do you know, if we do this, we're going to be lying to them for the rest of our lives. Not to mention Aidan, Adam, any other partner that you might have. I didn't think of it like that. Well, you need to. We've got to be certain, Eva, beyond any doubt. All right, let's hear it. OK. What's it to you who Maria fancies? Because the guy's a meathead and he's the latest in a long line. Yeah, well, I don't give a monkey, so neither should you. Oh, Shona, don't tell me you're jealous over Maria. I mean, she, she's more like a sister. And this is Weatherfield, not West Virginia. Excuse 
excuse me. What, what are you... <laughs> um, oh, there's a mix-up at the clinic. They sent us away. What? Yeah, no. I mean, Toya kicked off. I've had to drag her away. <sighs> I don't blame her. Yeah, so they, they're going to phone us up with a, another appointment. Are you all right? Yeah, well, I'll have to be, won't I? Mm. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to have to lie low for one day next week. Mm. Jackie! I wanted to make sure you and Peter were all right. Oh, you shouldn't have done. Um, listen, uh, come through where we'll talk in the back, yeah. Just go on, through. Uh, right, OK, put the bolt on the back door and uh, keep an eye out for Peter. Do not let him come through, yeah? yeah. It's so good of you to stay with me at the hospital, even after... Oh, as if I was going to leave you. <laughs> Felt like I'd let you down. Hey, it's not your fault. I know that better than anyone. <laughs> How's Peter managing? Yeah, he's not with you. He said much. He's just keeping himself busy. You should talk about it. Mm. Yeah, when the time's right. Will you try again? I don't know. Um, it feels like I've been here too often. There's only so much heartbreak that one person can take. No one deserves the luck you've had. But I know you and Peter would make great parents. Maybe some things aren't meant to be. Toya, what happened was a tragedy. But it would be an even bigger one if it robs a child of a loving home and a mum like you. Go. One of them days. I get 365 a year. Oh, clinics can't be the happiest place to work. Well, at least I do some good there. That's how it makes it for the rest of the time. Um, you can go out this way. Call me any time. Thanks. You take care, yeah? You too. Thank you. Oh, my God, what would we have done if Pete were to come back? Oh, don't even. Do you mind if I put this poster up? What? I was for a charity boxing night, memory of Luke Britton. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, I've heard. But you didn't have to get beaten up for it. Well, I don't know. Howard Jones was on the bill. Mm. I'd rather take my chances in the ring. In the ring. Mm. But all you have to do is just take the collections in from the garage, stick it here on the bar, you'll make just as much money and nobody has to get the nose bust. What's it to you? Why are you so anti? I'm not anti-boxing. Just anti-me. <laughs> no, don't fight yourself, mate. So what's your problem, then? Yeah, David. What's your problem? I mean, it's one thing Tyson Fury doing it, but I mean, hairdressers, mechanics and death. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, you know what it does to me. So you can put my name down and you never know. I might get to fight Maria. <laughs> you saw Jackie getting on the bus. Yeah, she dropped in. Is everything all right? Toy, is everything all right? Eh, uh, she had some news, actually. OK. Her husband's got a job abroad, um, so the whole family's going. Where? When? Dubai. End of the month. Well, is she going to be all right to fly? Yeah, to go out, but um, she can't fly back until the baby's born. Well, but hang on. This, this is not what we agreed. What if there's a problem? Oh, she was really sorry, but she said they couldn't turn it down. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm not sure about this. What was I supposed to say? The deal's off? But there's no reason why it shouldn't work out just fine. <laughs> well, I don't want you doing it. Well, I'm doing it. I can see why you mightn't fancy it, but don't put other people off. Hang on, why won't I fancy it? I'm guessing you don't work out or get many wolf whistles. Oh, right, you're gonna go and be in a fighting now. <laughs> no, there's no way you're going toe to toe with anyone. Right, well, that's where you're wrong, you see. I'll do it, but not because of you. Anything you can do. Uh, don't be silly, David. Mm. He wants to do it. <laughs> it's not safe. I'm not going to stick him in with Anthony Joshua. You can't do it. You're epileptic. <laughs> Come on, I've not had a problem in years, you know that. Well, you take medication daily. Yeah, and I'm not meant to drink on it, but I do. Well, this is different. If you take blows to the head, it might bring on a seizure. Is that what you want? Look, you can do the fitness training, just not the actual fighting. Well, that's like saying I can learn the violin, but I can never play it. Playing the violin won't leave your kids without a father. This might. 
Right, I'm gonna go home and stick tea on. Are you coming? I'll let me finish my pint first. Or is that too much of a risk these days? So, in or out? Mm. She didn't want me stealing her thunder, does she? And actually, we'll need somebody to look after the kids that night, so. Right. You could iron her trousers while she's out. The one she wears in your house, like, because you lost the only fight that mattered long since. Listen, I can do what I want, all right? Put my name down. The missus won't like it. Well, she don't need to know until the night, does she? Fair enough. I was left to knock that on the head for a bit, eh? Could kick myself for getting half cut last night. Well, last night seems like a long time ago. I wanted the ground to swallow me up before spinning all those lies to Peter. Oh, well, you spun him pretty well, I've got to say. I'm not proud of it. But seeing Jackie again, it just reminded me what hope felt like. I don't want to give up on having a baby. Well, you can't. Not now. Is that all right? I mean, I know we hadn't actually signed off. And... We had. And we both know it. The question is, what do we do now? Well, uh, sending Jackie to Dubai has bought us a bit of time. Best holiday she'll never have. But it won't be long before you start showing properly. I mean, you sure about moving away? Well, I'd rather not, but I ain't got much choice, have we? Mm. And it won't be for that long, anyway. And you can come and get your baby. Yeah. My baby. Won't well, accept where anyone might know you. Yeah. Okay. So anywhere, so long as I've never been before and there's nobody for me to talk to. I'm sorry. You'll have great health care. Hey. I just want my baby to have two parents who are going to love it. And it will. A hundred percent. I know. So, uh, what are you going to tell Adam? I don't know. I'll think of something. <laughs> Yeah, Luke was a very fine young man. But funerals are for close friends and family. I, I shall remember him in my own way. Uh-oh. Hey, should I make us a brew? Raise a mug to Luke? If you'll excuse me, I'll just take this up to Carla. Oh, it's becoming a bit of a habit of hers, these long lions, living life a luxury she is. Uh, I was just bringing you off a cup of tea. It's a day, Roy. I can't sit around here doing nothing. You all right? Me? Yeah. Well, you don't have to put on a brave face with me. I know it must be on your mind, the uh, determination. Yeah. It must be awful to prepare yourself for it and then have to wait. Look, um, tell me to keep my beak out, but honestly, if you need anything, like a drink or a chat or, you know, a custard slice, you know where I am. Thank you. Having fun? Oh, it's a bad habit, what am I like? Okay. No dev today. No, he's working till closing. Oh, he puts the hours in, I'll give him that. He loves it, being in charge of his own kingdom. <laughs> well, you know what that's like. Well, I wouldn't exactly call this place a kingdom. But... Huh. Whatever it is, you're the queen. Maybe now Sean's gone. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, what have I missed? Oh, what, apart from uh, Gary Windus threatening to knock out Pat Phelan? Ah, let me guess. Women's trouble. Something like that. Fancy enough, pint? Uh, actually, I think I just want to be on my own. All right. Have it your way. All right, usual. Actually, I'm fine, babes. I just wanted a quick little word. OK, go on. So, in between pursuing my very important legal career, I've been looking at holidays. I think I found us a bargain. How do you fancy two weeks with yours truly in sunny Portugal? Um, I might have to take a rain check. What? I, j I just don't think that now's the right time for me to be going away. You were out for it a few days ago. I know. Well, well, that was before I checked my bank account. <laughs> I'll stop up the cash if that's what you're worried about. Well, that's not the only thing, though, is it? We've promised Pat and Eileen that we'd look after Billy when he comes out of hospital. Can't just be jetting off on holiday. Look, babe, I, I promise we'll get away. It's just not right now, OK? I won't hold my breath. I was on uh, YouTube for hours last night. Yeah, me too. I'm going to model myself on Marvin Hagler. Mm, hey, that Oscar De La Hoya is a bit of all right, isn't he? Who did watch the fight, David? What? Mayweather. Yeah, Steve! 
Do you like front of the box in them? Oh, no. Won't be found the rest of you, would it? What about your tree, sir? She's pacifist. Steve? Tabo. Hang on. Hi, Salt. What can I do you for? OK. Shona will fight... Like the Xbox, are they? <laughs> Maria. Oh, let the trash talk begin. <laughs> I'm going to ruin you. She is and all. Oh, stories I heard about her back in the day. Yeah, who was it that you put through that lease shopper window? Leslie D'Souza. Oh, and he was a massive bloke and all. It's all about technique. By the time you get in that ring, you will like Amanda Serrano. And I'll be Mike Tyson. Right, next, come on. What about me? Oh, can I go next? Who am I fighting? Do you want to fight Shona? I'll fight Shona. I'm not scared of anybody. No, I want you. <coughs> I thought you looked pretty handy, by the way. I saw you in that bag. Seriously? Fancy these chumps. <laughs> All right, cheers. All right. Taking this a bit seriously, aren't you? You're not even fighting. No, I usually do a bit of running, you know, just to keep fit in that, but... Ah! Ah! I got cramp! <laughs> ah! No, it's really bad. Could you <laughs> just rub... Can you just rub my leg, please? Where are ah, you? Yeah, oh, a bit. There, there. <laughs> ah! Should be charging you for this. Oh. <laughs> Hello. What's going on here then? Rocky's got cramped. Don't oh, it hurts. Oh, yeah, you can carry on. I need to go and disinfect my hands. <laughs> she often give you massages then. Well, uh, after work, you know, sometimes, but there's usually like oils and candles and things. I'm winding you up with just mates, you know that. OK. So who are you going to be cheering on in the fight, then? Your girlfriend or your mate? Well, it depends who gives the best massages, doesn't it? Rodri's lunch for her. Well, I feel a bit bad. Me and David are going over to Rovers and she's holding the fort. Right. <laughs> so, um, how's your training coming? Well, I haven't done anything yet. Why have you? Yeah, you know, just some, some push-ups and some weights. You are joking. I have no idea why anyone should wish to hit their fellow man or woman in the name of sport. Well, sometimes it's just fun. Mm, yeah, it's a very good cause, right? And that. Commemorating one act of violence with another seems utterly barbaric. You know, egg salad and gherkins. Mm. Cheers, right? Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Um, look, about yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I'll speak to you later. OK. OK. Have you seen Sinead anywhere? Why you don't want to challenge us in a duel, dear? Oh, not you as well. What is so funny about me and Daniel? Uh, I'll tell you what isn't funny. The earache Beth was giving me this morning. Well, that's why I want to find Sinead, to tell her. It meant nothing. I was working at Fresh Girls till later. I'm not airing my love life at the checkout. Why don't you make a tannery announcement, then? Oh, since when have you been doing stand-up? Strikes me there's nothing amusing about what I've just heard. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Roy. You should not be wasting precious energy on whatever you and Daniel are doing. I am a grown woman. You're a grown woman with a very serious condition. Yeah, which sometimes I just want to forget about and enjoy whatever time I might have left. Thank you. Oh. I think she looks hard. Well, I'll be ashamed if you do pull out, because she really wants to fight you. What? Why? What have I done? Well, she thinks we fancy each other, doesn't she? Well, you hope you've put straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course I have. I just said, like, you know, most women you probably do fancy me. I mean, come on, Maria, you're only human. It's not funny, David. Well, it is a little bit, isn't it? I mean, I've never had women literally fighting over me before. So. Oh, I don't want to go through all this again. Everyone still hates me over what happened. They did. Yeah, and tight round. Don't forget about that. All right, thank you. You're not helping. Well, of course I've told her. She knows we're just friends. It's fine. She did go up on that rope to mistake, though, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Might need to get myself some private lessons with Josh. Right. This wouldn't be anything to do with him looking all hot, would it? There we go. There we go. Sorry, Cheers. Hiya. Salad, salad. Oh. I'm sorry I missed your birthday. But judging by the look of you, it was a good one. Yeah, yeah, I've got a right hangover. Five-day hangover? You're not at a party. <laughs> so, uh, I take it you had the termination then? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you should have told me. I could have come with you. Oh. It's done now, innit? Look at the state of him. Makes you look good. 
Come on, love. You should have repetitive strain about the text you sent me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You're obviously in pain. It's not. Now you told me I should lie off the strong stuff, but don't worry about it. You shouldn't have to suffer. You're obviously suffering, aren't you? Toast? Uh, yeah, but don't bother with the toast, eh? Really? Because uh, it's quite an important part of beans on toast. I mean, it's in the recipe and the name. Funny. I'm trying to watch my carbs, aren't I? <laughs> what? Nothing. It's just you being all motivated. It's really weird. Well, I can do motivated. I know most of the time I'm not bothered, but... <laughs> oh, I, uh, I meant to ask you, is, uh, is Billy off those crutches yet? No, not yet, but we're nearly there. I was just reading, actually, about this herbal pain relief. I mean, I know chit-chat's not exactly medical, journal. I could have a cheese pasta to take away, Sean, as quick as you can, please. Oh, yeah. All right. Not really, no. First Todd, now Adam. Um, where's Adam? Well, he just texted me saying that he's taking a last-minute holiday to Tenerife. Left this morning, leaving me juggling eight different cases and having to deal with crazy Mrs. Webbury. Mrs. Webbury, hi. No, 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 we are dealing with that as we speak. Do you think that's anything to do with you? No, 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 don't care. Good riddance. Are you all right to take Max to football tonight? After school? Mm, yeah, should be. Oh, David, thank goodness there you are. Oh, sorry. Now, Maria's had to pop out, so could you get back over there now? And uh, whatever you've ordered, could it be a takeaway and I'll bring it over? Uh, yeah. He's having beans on toast without the toast. Oh, well, just beans, then. Yes, just beans. What's wrong with having just beans for lunch? I mean, cowboys ate it, and I bet John Wayne didn't have to justify his carb intake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Pound coins again, please. Uh, extra slice of bacon on my next butty. Done. Mm. Oi! What? So this is why I took Max to football, so you could sit and have a pint. And a five-mile run. Yeah, and, and technically it is a pint, but it's a it's a pint of... Cranberry cr juice? Yeah. In a pub? Rich in antioxidants. Yeah, and he was just talking about the flavoroids. Who are you? Well, I'm sorry for trying to look after myself for once. I'm just going over his meal plan. <sighs> right, OK, now I'm officially freaked out. Football finishes in half an hour. I'll pick him up. Yeah, you will, and you can, because you've not been drinking. You are a weirdo. She's, um, not really a fan of health. I'm getting that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you do make a cute couple. Yeah, like an a wedding bell. <laughs> Go on, fill your boots. Keep making your small-minded little jokes. I refuse to be embarrassed about two mates, one of whom happens to be gay, going out for tea. Hang on a minute. Did you just say whom? Did I? So I'm still not embarrassed anyway. Yeah? Back off, you homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Max is having tea at Ed's and I had no more appointments, so... Oh, all right, all right, I'm not your mother. Go and get a pint in, then. What? Well, no, I just thought we were going to do this together, kick the booze, sort of a detox. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Hang on, are you being serious? Yeah. I wanted to do this properly, and Josh has got me this diet plan. Well, it's not really a diet plan. It's just a few suggestions I'll get more protein. Well, where are you going? Home. You are boring the hell out of me. Wait! <laughs> what? <gasps> what? You're having a go at me for going out with Sean. You're off the booze, and you've got a diet plan. He says it's not a diet plan. Diet. It's not a diet plan. Oh, cringe. <laughs> to the grindstone. Afternoon, ladies. Afternoon. What can I do you for? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Me? Client bailed on me, so we've got a training slot available after work. On to yet? Um... No charge, of course. How's 5.30 sound? 5.30 might be tricky, but I bet Maria would be up for it. Oh, I had a session yesterday. Yeah, well, you could do with one more. No offence, so could you. Yeah, I don't think you didn't want to win this match. No, it's not that. <laughs> then what? Oh, fine, you win. Right, see you then. See ya. Really necessary. Have you any idea how tight your hamstrings are? Wow! Okay, we're done. I haven't worked your calves. Uh, we're done. 
Oh. Okay, you're the boss. Oh. Oh. Oh, actually, you know what? That does feel better. <laughs> what can I say? I've got healing hands. So that was a decent session. The word is painful. Oh, so what time are you meeting my fella? 7.30. That's a bit I get a move on. Have you got any plans for tonight? No, that would be telling. Mm. Oh, and by the way, I was trying the cafe earlier. I'm not with you. A little matchmaking act. Still not with you. All right, I thought it was being subtle. I've seen sledgehammers is the more subtle set. What? I just thought you'd be good together. Let me save you the trouble, yeah. Maria doesn't do it for me, OK? Why not? It's just isn't my type. See ya. See ya. Sure. I thought you were at the site today. Uh, yeah, I'm just going over there now. Listen, what's this? Your dad's telling me about yours getting burgled. Somebody saw Seb. They thought they'd broken in, so they called the police, but I managed to explain it was just a mistake. Right, well, he thinks that you're keeping something from him. What do you think he knows? Me and Seb wondered if it was him that might have called them, but... Has it been acting weird, were you? A little bit. Yeah. Right, well, leave it with me. I'll see what I can find out, yeah? Oh, cheers. Sarah, sorry, didn't mean to make you jump. It's OK, I'm, I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> That's not what Dave reckons. Why, what's he said? He said you saw that bloke, the one you had trouble with, Lee. Well, he shouldn't have. He's worried about you. Just wanted to say, if you have any more problems, you know where I am. Under a car? Yeah, or in a pub. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I mean it. Oh, thank you. I've got to get off here. Yeah. Cheers. See ya. What can I get you? Ooh. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, can I grab a cup of tea, please? Oh, they look cosy, don't they? <laughs> yeah. They do. <gasps> oh, 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 surprise! <laughs> what are you all doing here? And we're turning the place over, babes. What do you think? <laughs> Happy birthday. Is this all down to you? Well, I sort of organised it, but I didn't make the food. No, me and Shona did that. Uh, no, I made the food. You helped carry it over. Details, details. Yeah, and I, I brought the booze, obviously. <laughs> you can have a drink, can't you? Yes, more on can it. Oh, as the actress said to the... Oh, oh. <laughs> Get the plates, <laughs> eh? idea. Oh, Summer. Oh, I really oh, appreciate nice. this, but you should be concentrating on your it's school garlic. work. You've even it's started that after-term project, yeah. Yeah, I have, and I'll finish it later. Or can you just chill out and enjoy yourself? Right, do you want some humus? It's very healthy. Oh, okay. Where's it made from? What? Um, chickpeas? Humus. It's got chicken in it, but it's nice. Do you want? Oh, Eva. Oh. It's nice. All right, bro. Happy birthday and all that. Mm. Thanks. Yesterday. Well, I might as well get some treat while I'm here. I don't know if it... Whatever you want. It's my treat. Nice one. What? Nothing. I just... I can't remember the last time that you and me were together on one of our birthdays. <laughs> That's mostly because I usually forgot yours. You always remembered mine, though, didn't you? Even when we were kids. But you always were the good brother, weren't you? Not always. I'm sorry for that. Well, then you can make it up to me, cos I've kind of got a favour to ask. Go on. I was wondering if I could crash at yours for a couple of nights. If, it, if it's possible. Well, there's, um, there's, there's, there's a couple of things I should probably talk to you about. Josh, it's me. Yeah, that problem we were talking about. I think I might need your help to sort it. Straight, you've adopted a kid? Yeah. Well, she's a teenager. It was a photo you saw at the flat. I know I said it was, it was Todd's niece, but I just didn't know how to tell you. So, anyway, the thing is, I think you stay in it, it, it might be a bit tricky. Well, I'm not expecting her to give up a room or I'll just toss on the couch. Lee, she's a vulnerable young girl. You stay in it, I, I just don't think it's a very good idea. Why? 
because you don't want to live in with a dirty junkie. It's a little bit too late for that, mate, isn't it? Shh, Lee, please keep your voice down. <laughs> At least I know what the score is now, though, yeah? But next time you want some gear, you can find it yourself. Billy, what was that about? Oh, uh, nothing. Well, it didn't look like nothing. Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Please, just... Excuse me, mate. You mind giving us an hand getting some of the back of here, would you? I'm busy, mate. All right, all right, all right. There's a pie in it for you. All right. What are you doing, mate? Mate, mate, what are you doing? You'll find out. Good work. Oh, this is work. It's fun. <laughs> Enjoy your little drive. It's not nice to be abducted, is it? Look, I'm sorry, OK? I'm deeply sorry for what I did, and you're right. I should have never come anywhere near. The only reason I did is for my brother. He's in a bad way, but I swear, lads, right? I'll go now, and you'll never, ever see... Ah! I don't know you got the message. I swear, you'll never see me face again, all right? Yeah, because if I do, I'm not going to be responsible for my actions. Do you understand? Yes! Yeah, you go off, mate. I'll make sure he gets on safe. Right. Cheers. Whoa. Because he's done my beer. Won't be an eye on. Open the door. You know, if it was my sister you'd terrorised, you'd already be rotting at the bottom of the canal. Scum like you needs stamping out. Not like anyone's gonna miss you, is it? Just be one less thieving little junkie. Sponging off decent folk like us. No! <laughs> no scarpa. You having another? Uh, I think I'm going to stick to water, mate. So suddenly your idea of fun is having one bottle of lager. What can I say? I'm a man of contradictions. Did he get off all right? Got kicked him off to the hostel. Went for a run around the park. You didn't? I thought that's what you wanted. What? <laughs> Relax. I didn't lay a finger on him. I think I went too far. After what he did? Are you joking? did what you needed to do. Don't worry about it. Right, go on, then. I'll have another. Just for you. I'm at the end of my tether with her, David. I mean, and talk about rude. Not just to me, but to all my customers. And then she doesn't come back after dinner. Well, have you told Sarah? I can cope with employee matters, thank you. I don't go running to Gail every time you misbehave, do I? No, you just gossip about me, you know? Oh. Well, I don't know, Graham. Maybe she's not cut out for pear and beauty. Anything must be better than showing what you've had for breakfast in some seedy lap dancing club. And that Sam one, ooh, sniffing around. I don't like her at all, actually. All right. Shut up, mate. <laughs> no, I've just come to drop the keys off. Thought you could fix the clutch first thing. Oh, I'm sorry, we're behind on a, a car or two, so it'll be a day or so, mate. Are you joking? I, I need it tomorrow. I need to get some supplies for Salon. Oh, I can't do it any quicker. You can't deprive the Blue Rinse Brigade of the colour, can you? I mean, the shock alone might kill one of them. I can come in early and sort it. Really? As long as there's a pint and a game of darts in it for me. 
Yeah, all right. Nice one. All right. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. All right. David, um, can you give me a lift to the police station? Um, Bethany's been arrested. What? She's attacked some bloke and I can't get hold of Gary. Right, I, I, slow down. What's happened? Well, I don't really want to get into it. Can I get a lift? You'll have to get a cab because my clutch is gone. Oh, for God's sake! I can take you. You sure? Yeah, of course. Just park on the corner. All right, okay, I'll take the kids to Grand's now. Come oh, All right, thank you. Okay, let me have a look. Oh, dear. Made a bit of a mess here, haven't we? Dad's going to go mad. Oh, no, no, he's not. He's not, because I can get it fixed, and then he won't even have to know you were playing with it. Give us a smile. <laughs> You're feeling better. OK, well, I think it's a little bit too late for you to go to school, so why don't you nip upstairs and play in your room? <laughs> Whoa! Careful, madam. There's a miraculous recovery. Mm, yeah, less of an upset tummy and more of a guilty conscience. That was Kylie's? Yeah, Lily's tangled up the chain. Well, I'm sure the uh, jewellers in the precinct can mend it. That's the plan. She was worried David would be upset. And you're helping solve the problem? I should have not. No. I think you're doing exactly what David would want you to do. Mum's the word. My lips are sealed. Not very chatty today. Well, what did you want? A chat or an haircut? Well, a bit of both would have been nice. Well, I'll do better next time. How do you know there'll be a next time? You'll be back. How can you be so sure? Because we're cheaper than anyone else around. Well, I should see you in a fortnight. It's shepherd's pie. Yes, you said. You like shepherd's pie. I made it from the roast we had on Sunday. You have to shout. He's feeling very delicate today. You know? Yeah. Uh, don't know. Hang on. Graham? Yeah? Josh is looking for a gym space for that boxing thing for Luke. He wants me to give him hand, like, now. Oh, yes. Yes, OK, go now. Uh, in fact, take the rest of the day off. We've got no more appointments. Yeah, but I need to... No, go clean. on. You need the break. Now, get off. Come on. Yeah, I'm on the way. Right. Hey, you're not going boxing. Just keep your nose out, all right? So, to your task. No, I'm busy, Gail. Busy with what? Stuff. I've got stuff to do. Well, we can eat a bit later, then. Oh, wait a minute. It's this clairvoyant. You've got a date with a Ouija board. Look, I am just intrigued, that's all. They're a load of con artists. Oh, for goodness sake, Gail, I wasn't born yesterday. I'm not taking her to the house. I'm going to get her to do whatever she does here. You're a fool. Alf's dead. He's not going to be talking to anyone. I know that, my love, I know. I'm just curious, that's all. Hey, save me some shepherd's pie. Well, pack. I might. I might not. OK. And you take care. How many... ...hadn't I, Ron? I remember when Maddie died. I couldn't bear the thought that life moved on without her. But do you know what? It gets easier. It does. He was so perfect. We were so perfect. Well, this guy could negotiate for the United Nations. They quoted us 400 quid, then he steps in. Well, I, no, I just said, you know, Luke's legacy is all about race awareness. So, you get the place for free. Hey. He's got to speak to his boss. Come on, David! Well, no, it was a team effort. Yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect venue, though. Boxing ring, smell of the sweaty gym gear, enough space for spectators. Mm. Come in. That's a car that was used by the blokes that graffitied the garage. You what? The racist that targeted Luke. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Well, we should call the police. We could ask inside, find out whose car it is. Yeah. Yeah, but it might not be just the garage. That could be the person that killed Luke. Excuse me? Is that your car? Yeah. Why? Uh, nothing. I just seen some kids trying the doors before. Where? Uh, they've run off now. So if you call the police. Where are you, mate? I don't know who you're talking about. Did you kill Luke? Answer the question. Did you kill Luke? <laughs> Can you keep hold of him until the police get here? They're on the way. Yeah. You all right? I'm fine. 
Well, I'd like to be modest and say it was nothing, but that guy was a serious thug, wasn't it? I mean, he'd been working out in some hardcore boxing gym. Maybe he was tired when you took him on. Uh, he wasn't tired. I took a punch. Yeah, well, I took him down like a tag team, didn't I? Look, I'm just glad the police got there so quick. Yeah, well, it's all right celebrating, but that was dangerous. A bloke, he vandalised the garage and he might have killed Luke. What did the police say? <sighs> Not much. They gave them a statement and they took him in for questioning. Seriously, though, you two were great. You hear that? I heard. Mm -hmm. Right, well, I think we heroes deserve another drink. What are you having, buddy? Yeah, you're right, but it's all right, I'll get them. I'll get them, you... No, it's fine. I'm up. Right, well, we'll sit down, then. Well, you sit down. All right, it's like watching two rival superheroes battling out in the final showdown. Why don't you both just sit down? I'll get them. All right, we're both. What they like. <laughs> OK, thank you for calling me. All right, bye. So, apparently, the bloke confessed to the graffiti at the garage and that the Parker brothers paid them to do it, but he's got a cast-iron alibi for Luke's murder. Well, I'm just glad that you weren't wrestling with a murderer. Don't worry. I'll find whoever did it eventually. Right, shall I get us another drink? Yeah, come on, I'll help you. Yeah, me too. Um, do you want the same again? Yeah, cheers. He's a sensitive bloke, your Josh. It's not my Josh. Well, you know what I mean. Hey, is it my imagination? Or is there definitely chemistry between him and Alia? It's your imagination. Well, I don't know. Well, I do. My boyfriend's been murdered. Yeah, well, stranger things have happened. No. Look at me and you. <laughs> it's not happening. Oh, you almost sound jealous. I'm not jealous. Oh, you can't keep him all to yourself. <laughs> Can't keep who all to yourself? No one. Ah. You okay? Yeah, it's just no oh, fucking mad. Cheers for coming back today, anyway. Yeah, no worries. First really fight club. <laughs> Reckon you and me are gonna have a lot more big adventures. Thinking I might nip into town, get a little present for Robin. Who's Robin? Martin's partner. I don't trust anybody who's named after a Christmas bird. I've seen this gorgeous little boutique shop, and it's got these kits in it for you know mums to be, and it's got a little candle and some massage. Yeah, I think you're confusing me with someone who cares. Well, I was hoping you were going to chip in. Why would I want to be spending money on a woman who's going to give birth to a kid that I'm never going to meet? Because that kid is going to be your half-brother or sister. Yeah, and they're all moving to the other side of the world without any consultation with Muggins here. Yeah, well, it's not the kid's fault, is it? You can't punish it just because you hacked off with Martin. They've only just announced she's pregnant. Anything could happen. It's not over till the fat lady gives birth, is it? <laughs> I need a talent for Theresa May. <laughs> Theresa May? No, it's the... First name of her classroom assistant, she's taking a lot of them to Martin Mia. Right, well, let's check the cash point, shall we? Ooh, you call Shona's coat a cash point. She's always got a screwed up fiver or even better, <laughs> oh. jackpot. Oh, wow, I'm going to have to remember this. I don't suppose there's any in there for me, is there? I've got presents to buy. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> What's this? What? Kylie's necklace. I think somebody's got some explaining to do, young lady. Thanks. Oh, I meant to text you. Uh, Lily has a day out at Martin Mir, is that what it's called? Anyway, uh, she needs a tenner for what's the chops. Yeah, don't keep secrets with my daughter. Hey. Lily's told me everything. Oh, OK, she asked me not to tell you, so I just... Well, don't make deals with her. OK, fair enough. I don't want to turn it out like Clayton, do I? Oh, OK. So now I'm a bad mother. Now? Well, let's look at the evidence, shall we? Yeah, well, at least I've been giving it a go while you've been off being one of the lads. Someone's had to be some sort of parent to her. I can do what I want. Oh, really? Can you now? Yeah, I can, actually. All right. Well, don't throw it back in my face when all I've been trying to do is the right thing. Yeah, and then we're going to need a doctor. <laughs> what to be the match? To be ringside, yeah? Ah, I know. Good doc. I'll have a word. Come on, mate. 
Okay, just re receiving the body, yeah? Yesterday means a lot to all you. Yeah, well, that idiot had an alibi. Oh, yeah, they've always got an alibi. <coughs> I used to think that was pronounced the Libby. <laughs> Aye, come on, no slacking. No, it doesn't help me next to He Man over there. I always like to be stronger than the competition. <sighs> How, uh, how's the new business going, by the way? Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> right, time to step it up, yeah? Come on, Z. Oh, do you know what? Bring it on. Zay, no, come on, what are you doing? Zay, you all right, mate? Zay, you okay? What's up? Omelette and chips. Mm. Oh, sorry, I asked for it without chips. Well, they're there now. Oh, yeah, well, no, that's fine. Look on them as a gift. Well, you could have gift wrapped them. <laughs> She's in a vile mood. You want a selfie with me? I charge. You all right? Well, I thought it was until your brother came in. Oh, you've seen him? Mm, yeah, and guess who's in the doghouse? Is he fuming? Well, I thought I was going to tell him about the necklace, but I didn't see any harm in letting Lily save face. I thought it was doing a good thing. Yes, but David's twisted, and he doesn't see things like normal people do. Yeah, but Lily knew what she did was wrong. She was so upset about breaking her mum's necklace, she was in bits. Mm, David's out of his depth. Mm, and guess who gets the brunt of it? Oh, that'll be me. Oh, just leave him to cool down. Just give him a bit of space, he'll be fine. Oh, I'll give him space, all right. I will boot him into space on a one-way ticket. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. I've changed it, so I'll, I'll see you Tuesday. All right, bye-bye. <sighs> Maria, shouldn't be too long with your Gary Baldies. Right, where were we? Let's get you looking a million dollars for your golden wedding. Where are you having it again? So built to China. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Oi, oi. All right, lad. I'll have to uh, cut and chat, I'm afraid. A bit busy. You're on half day if my memory serves you right. Yeah, what's that mean? You're going to lead me astray? Uh, I think that's what you do to me. <laughs> yeah, right, you which. Anyway, just thought you might, might sink a few in town. Yeah? Huh? All right, do you want to bring some mates? Maybe make a lad's night of it? Yeah, yeah, will do. I'll text you. All right. Leave you to making this one beautiful, which, believe me, will not take long. See you bit. See you. It's a sweet talker, isn't it? What are you doing? Going out with Josh. Again? You knew I was only on half day today. <sighs> you are unbelievable. Relax, will you? My mum's already agreed to have the kids. Look, David, we need to sort this. It's sorted. I'm over the whole necklace thing. I am. You just want to get out and see your mate. You're so paranoid, Shona. You are unbelievable. It's all gravy, all right? Just chill out, will you? <sighs> Cheers, mate. He's going to be all right, though, isn't he? I'll be fine, just build muscle. Some blokes haven't got your stamina, Davey, lad. You know what I reckon? What? I reckon if you can pronounce the word stamina, stamina, is that it? <laughs> then you've not had enough to drink. Get that down. You're all right. Another one of the lads cancelling, can you believe it? You're joking? Oh, well, I guess it's just me and thee. Shouldn't you be getting back to the wife, eh? Ain't no ring on my finger, pal. But and you got to sort things out with she who must be obeyed. Well, can we just have a show in a free zone today? Right, I'm sick of even thinking about it. What do you say, pal? Right, I'm off to the gents. And you're having the shot. I am not. Oh, come on, mate. She's all right. Oh, she is. She's just always there, pecking me head with a, a big beak. She's like Big Bird. <laughs> Anyway, I thought old soccer show was banned today. Yeah, it is banned. B A N D. Ah, you mate. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not as splat as you, because guess what? I spiked your drink, you loser. Well, who's the real loser here? Because guess what? I could sell and I swapped some over. I never did. All right, mate, what's what you doing? You what? You heard? Should be drinking pot with your mates on the street corner. You're a bit lippy, aren't you? Do you want a bit, do you? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, let's just calm it down. Just an accident, my friend. Very sorry, aren't you, Dave? Am I? 
You better happy. Yes. All right. Well, one hundred and ten percent. Hundred and ten percent. Oh God, you remind me of my brother. You sometimes. You're always a voice of sense of reason, aren't you? Just get a life, will you? I'm better looking, all right. Yeah, stretch better looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you don't talk about him much. Who? My brother. To be honest, I don't even think I knew you had one. And I thought we were tight. Yeah, well, I thought me and Nick were tight. You know, solid. Thought you always on my back. But then when I came out, the young offenders. I don't know, something changed, like... You're in young offenders. I thought you start thinking less of me now. As if. You saw some sights in there. Ah, uh, yeah. Not to make a grown man weep. And he, he left. Nick. And he just got off. No goodbye. There in his shiny suit one day and next. Just a shadow where his suit used to be. You know? Dad's no better. If you want to call him that. Mm. I've got your back, mate. Do you know that? Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, can't blame you. Having your back? Mate, it's my best feature. Come on. Maybe a blowout with his new best friend is just what the doctor ordered, eh? Especially after that hoo-ha with Martin. I'm sorry I had to miss your school trip because you're not well. You are really poorly, aren't you? Hope you got your money back. I'm not going on the trip. Well, a tenner's a tenner. If you're too embarrassed to ring the school, I'll do it. I'm not too embarrassed, Gail, don't worry. No, I'm not worried. Just trying to help out. My default, Mum. Really? <laughs> Tell me where it hurts, sweetheart. My belly. Oh, you poor thing. You know what you need, don't you? What? A granny hug. Mm. Come here. <laughs> Do you think I should try David again? Is that the little green-eyed monster raising its ugly head? No. Would you be prepared to take a lie detector test on that? All right, well, maybe a little bit, but why should he get to have all the fun? You must get lonely. Yeah? Well, we all need pals, Shona, and you don't seem to have many pals. I've got pals? Well, um, yes, you've got me, and I enjoy our little chats. Did I ever tell you about the time I went to Knowsley Safari Park? Actually, you know what, Gail? What? Stuff him. Two can play his game. I'm going to the pub. It's my dad that let me down. Money in a Christmas card, that's how I knew him. It was never even that much. Tired blood. How old were you in this split? Six or seven. After that, my mum just went after truckers, lorry drivers. That's mother trucking man, all that man. <laughs> I think she liked the fact that they were all away for a day's an end. So did I. Never got on with a single one of them. Three of them were called Richard. My mum was married to a Richard. Wasn't a lorry driver, was he? No, he was a serial killer. I'm not even joking. Yeah. Another one, he, um, he tried to fake his own death, but died. <laughs> I mean, that's how much they hated him, you know? But, yeah, a serial killer. He took the biscuit. A serial killer? Yeah, he, um, he tied us all up in the car and uh, he drove us into the canal. I got some press cuttings somewhere. That's not even funny. Yeah, and they got my age wrong. You believe that? I mean, it's so hard being a celebrity, it really is. Well, how many people did he kill? Uh, I don't know. Had a few sleeps since then. But that was my mum. She always bringing back dodgy blokes. 
Two peas in a pod, you and me. <laughs> my mum, she always used to refer to her fellas as my uncles. Mm. Yeah, my grandma's just as bad, apparently, in her own day. Mm. But uh, now they're just two born-again prudes. I think we should have a toast, actually. To all the uncles in the world. To uncles. Right. I'm gonna go for a while. Drink. I am, I know I am. I keep banging on about Shona doing me Sweden. I keep slagging off me mum and gran. I think you're hilarious. Well, as hilarious as you can be when you're discussing mass murder. <laughs> you wait till I get on a genocide. But what am I doing? I need to get a grip. No, you need to get that down your neck. I think I might just get a soft drink, you know. No way. No, lightweight. I do, I feel a bit blur. Then knock it back, come on. How can I? How can I show to see me like this? Then come stay at mine. Yeah, all right. Huh? Yeah, back then, there. Uh, deal, do that. No? You'd be guessing right, then. What do you think he's doing? I know exactly what he's doing. He's in town getting K-Lied with his new buzzy mate, Josh. Oh, boxing Josh? Oh, yeah, have you not heard? It's the bromance of the century. It's all over here these days. It's Josh this, Josh that, Josh the other. Surprised he hadn't had his name tattooed on his forehead. Yeah, don't think they're getting drunk, no. They're in training, aren't they? And that's why I give it a body swerve. Uh -huh. Curious or uncurious, huh? So does that make you feel better? <sighs> well, not really, no. Why? Well, cos if he's not drinking, then he's just not answering my calls. I need another one. All right, come on up. Old place, put me on. <laughs> Feel a bit. A bit what? You're all right, I'm with you. Yeah, it's a bit, you know, weird, like, I can't hold my booze anymore. Come here. <laughs> Losing me touch. What? Stop giving yourself an hard time and take the weight off your feet. <laughs> You OK there? Yeah. Feel nice. So do I. Yeah. A little bit. Buzzing. Yeah, I'm a lot buzzing. Is this your way of telling me you don't want any water to drink? No. Don't mind. Love you. Love you, Mum. Love you too, man. You make me laugh. All right, one more water. All right, you just relax, and I'll pour us a drink. Great time. How are you feeling? I feel men. Hmm. Should we go to bed? Off. 
Lights on tonight, I reckon. Have a go at her. She's been poorly sick, haven't you, sweetheart? Now, are you sure your tummy's fine now? Yeah. Can we get a taxi? Oh, listen to his lordship. We're going to be late. Yes, well, I didn't realise your lunches weren't made, did I? David does them. Well, David was out. Miss Tolly stops us from playing footy if we come in after the bell. She's a crank. She is not. She's lovely. And if you want to moan to anyone, moan to your father. When he gets home. Why, where is he? He is with a friend. Did he have a sleepover? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he had a sleepover. Come on, come on. Coat and walk, come on. You did say Coronation Street. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, man. Good night, was it? Bacon butty and a pint of banana milk. You'll soon bounce back. Yeah. Don't tell me you lost your phone. Your voice? Your mind? Have you seen that? I'm going to rip his head off. Leave it, love. He could have been dead in a gutter. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, and it takes one minute to send a text, one measly minute to put someone out of their misery. You know what I think? I think he needed the blowout. Am I complaining about him going out, am I? Well, you are just a little bit. No, no, we all need a good sesh every now and then. OK? I have never stopped any of my fellas having fun. That way they can't stop me. He's a lot on his mind. Yes, I know, this Martin business. But, Gail, this is about respect. I am not his givey. I am not his childminder. I'm his partner, his equal. It's a phase. He never used to carry on like this. <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't. Not until Josh came on the scene. And the pair of them, they both need telling. I'm not going to be treated like one of the staff. Well, couldn't one of the other ones do it for you? Well, Maria was run ragged. Audrey offered, but uh, no offence. David's got the edge in my book. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, did they explain why? That is Dickie Tommy. Yeah, Maria said. Tell him to take it easy. Oh, uh, well, Lily came down with it as well. You know, she missed a school trip to Martin Mia. Oh, bless. Mm. Make sure you and Max keep it at bay. Someone's got to bring home the bacon. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> On my knees, <laughs> you'll shrivel up. I brought you a coffee. Just leave it there. All right, well, don't knock it over. JB, could you be any more ignorant if you tried? Right, well, when you can actually string a sentence together, I'm going to be in the cafe. And if you can't remember where it is, I'm sure St. Josh will tell you.
Oh, I'm sorry. Leanne and her questions. I just had to get out of there before I cracked. It's like, you know, when you pick at a loose thread and then the whole flipping jumper unravels. I mean, how do I officially adopt your baby? How do we make Peter its father without him even knowing? Well, it happened all the time in the old days, didn't it? Is that the best you've got? Look, what we need is your name on the birth certificate and then you can just add him. So what, you give birth pretending to be me? Yeah. No, it's too late, isn't it? Because your name's already on all your notes. Well, we'll just say we've lost him. You flash your NHS number, your passport or whatever, and it'll make me a new file. But we look nothing like each other. Besides, what if there's complications when we're going to labour? I mean, if they've not got the right history or the right blood group... Wait, I said she saw you coming in here. I thought she was going to do Lally again. Oh, oh well, blame Josie here. She only got the flipping class time wrong, didn't she? Just uh, sneaked in here for a quick one. Oh, well, good. Pete's changed my shift, so I'm your new classmate. Voila! <laughs> here he is. Picture from the Black Lagoon. Do you feel better for that sleep? Mm. When did you take your last lot of paracetamol? You'll be due some more soon. Are you hungry? We'll make you a nice chucky, eh? <laughs> well, the state he was in. Oh, I need to learn my lesson. Never take a lightweight out on a school yeah, night. He was out of depth, all right. He looked like death warmed up. Kiwi and kale, extra ginger. Well, that beats my chucky egg into a cock tap. If I'd have known you were in, I'd have made you one. Although the way he's looking at that, I think you might be in with a chance. Mm. Something tells me he's not going to make training tonight. A couple of orange juices, I said, early nights. He led you astray. That is exactly what he did. Then I've no sympathy for him. Davy boy, you need to pull yourself together. Otherwise your mum won't let us play out again. <laughs> Was I a bit heavy on the ginger? Yeah, give us that T-shirt. I was going to put a wash on anyway. No, no, what? get off! Honey, Josh, you've seen it all before. Steady on, mate. Stop fussing, all right? I'll sort it. Yeah, all right. Walk around looking a state, then. Josh, do yourself a favour. If he suggests air of a dog, run a mile. Well, I'm in training. Right, run ten, then. I'll go sort the washing out. Well, that was nice. What are you doing coming here? I've had my last drink off you. Whatever you put in it, you didn't knock me out completely. I know what you did. And I can still feel it. Twisted. I didn't have you down as one of them. Blowing up one minute cold the next. I thought you had more to you. You're not saying I imagined it then? Me? No. You're the one trying to rewrite history. I love you, man. I shot you first. You're all over me like a rash. Now suddenly you've all gone all caveman. I'm not gay. All right, fact. And saying that doesn't make me a caveman. Gay by shmai. It was just a laugh. Do I look like I'm laughing? Mate, you look like a... You're not the same person. That's all I'm saying. You spiked me. If that's what you need to believe. You did, you spiked me. Mate, you sank about ten pints. You're doing shots for England. <laughs> You're trying to sneak a vodka in my lager like some 15-year-old joker. This is more than just hangover. Well, that's funny, I feel fine. Believe me, you don't wake up like this after one too many beers. A few drops of GHB. You admit it? To loosen us up, both of us. It's no biggie. I'll just save the drama. We were both wasted. We both wanted it. You're wrong. That's not me. You're an hairdresser and you've done time. Yeah, and there were a wing for blokes like you. Just chill, will ya? What goes on tour stays on tour. 
What? Shona's not gonna find out from me. Shona is not the problem. Then you need to have a word with yourself and then puppy dog eyes. Otherwise, stick to lemonade from now on. Who's the uh, eclair fiend? It's for Fizz. She does a lot for me. I just wanted to know she's appreciated. Try telling that to David. Hi, pal. Oh, sorry. We went back to mine. He crashed. I didn't want him waking you and the kids. Just after some pound coins if you've got any. But you go ahead, mate. I'm in no rush. I can do 20. Yeah, the coffee to go, please. Oh, sorry. Coffee machines, uh, it's off for cleaning. Oh, right. Well, I'll go down the road to get a proper cappuccino. Thanks. Right, well, when you've got a family of your own, you'll realise it's never too late when someone's worried sick. You weren't sniffing around women. Well, town's a dangerous place, even for a ninja warrior like you. I was looking out for him. There was no trouble. Mm. It's takeaway only, and the coffee machine. Yeah, off, I got it. You know, it's typical. David's the one who's out of order, and I'm the one who ends up looking like a nag. Man, eh? Hmm. See you, mate. See you, mate. He wasn't off his face. He was upset. First Nick does a disappearing act, now Martin's vanishing too. New life, new kid. He's wondering where he's gonna fit in. And what, he said that? He said everyone leaves him. Just like you will. I know you two are close, but he's got his pride. With me, he doesn't have to act the big man. Yeah, well, me neither. He just needed some TLC. I want that to pick you up, mate. I had a customer from hell. But did you have fun at George's, yeah? Yeah. Is this right? One, two, one, two. David? Look, do you want me to chop my fingers off? You said you'll teach me. Yeah, and I will. Now? One, two, one, two. I'll go to Josh then. He'll teach me. He's min. Take them off. Now. You're way too young anyway. Josh says I'm a natural. Yeah, well, I'm your dad, and I say you're too young. You know, you've got way too much lip at the minute. Get out of my sight now. Go. Meanie. Look, well, don't have a go at him just because you're feeling rough. You weren't there. I had a knife, and he's hitting oh, me. Sort yourself out, David, and pick on someone your own age. Max, you all right, sweetheart? Is he all right? Is it something I've done? You can't talk to me. I won't judge. Look, I don't mind if you go out and get hammered again. As long as you take me with you. Josh told me about last night. And I've got to admit, I would have preferred to have heard it from the horse's mouth. I should have been more sensitive about Martin. He's just another person in a long line that's... that you're losing, and... so soon after Nick and Kylie too, and... They're not running away from you. And I'm not either, no matter how hard you push me. I wouldn't blame you if you did. I just thought that Josh was a six-pack on legs. But I was wrong. There's another side to him. I should have come home. I wish I'd come home. Oh. Come on, come on, I told you. Hair of the dog, it really does work. It'd have to be like a Saint Bernard. <laughs> oh, great mind. So I just told him he needs hair of the dog. What are we talking, Saint Bernard? <laughs> Sarah, I'll get these and yours. What are you two having? No, you're all right. We'll just come spend some time together. Oh, you old romantic. I can still get them. You're not listening. I said no. David? Oh, Josh. My brother is famous for his rudeness. Just taking a notice. I would love a drink. <laughs> um, could we just get the usual, please, Sarah? Cheers. You know, that stuff with Max, don't let it get to you. 
Josh just flashes his smile and people feel special. Kids included. What do you think? I'm jealous of him. Well, what you do, being a dad, day in, day out, holding it together, that's just as heroic. Except you don't look as good in Lycra. Nobody looks good in Lycra. <laughs> By the way, um, I spoke to Max. We're not doing the boxing thing, we're just sticking with football. Oh, God, that beautiful face. David, are we OK? Yeah, always. Right, so next time you got something on your mind, don't go to your mates. We're on top of my list. I mean, you have to. Can't have a party without sandwiches. <laughs> Why? Nobody ever eats them. They'll be sausage rolls. Are you having party bags? Well, I was thinking about it, and to be honest, Harry is so little, I think I can get away with not. Tell Shona about Lily's friend Jasmine's party. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, posh Petra, David calls her. She's lovely, really. But she organised all this stuff. There was a candy floss machine. There was an entertainer, which was a woman dressed as Elsa from Frozen. I think there should be a limit on how much people spend. And an animal entertainer. It was wicked. Yeah, until one of the snakes escaped. Oh, no. <laughs> it was hilarious. The candy floss machine went everywhere. Elsa ripped a dress, clambering onto um, one of the chairs, and then yeah. the cups and drinks just went all over the place because, of course, Petra had a cream carpet. <laughs> Serves her right, really. <laughs> Am I coming to the party? Oh, of course you are. Yes, my darling, we're going to go to the park straight after school and then we're going to come back here for our tea. But, Lily, I need you to help me out with the little ones, OK? I'm not hanging around with a bunch of little kids. Oh, far too cool. Right, come on, you two, caught some. I want to stay and help. Well, you can eat your dinner in your room in a minute. Come on, now. I can take them if you want. No, all right. I mean, thanks, but I'll do it. Come on. Martin leaving's hit him hard. Yeah, he'll be fine. Do you know, I am thinking, though, I might need some canapes and some dips. Don't want posh Petra thinking I'm a cheapskate. So, what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, looks good. Yeah. Do with an hand delivering them later, though. Sorry, mate, I'm gonna have to shoot straight back for the kids. Well, can you not take him with you? Oh, yeah, and let Fizz add child labour to my string of offences. I don't think so. Yeah, hey, ask you, mate. Dave! Hey, he's looking for volunteers to spread the word about the big fight night. Top of the bill, Tyrone Tiger Dog versus Golden Gary Windass. Fight the century all over it. No. Yeah, no problem. So you got your hands full. So what about? Thought you and him were tight. Not exactly tight. You know what days like anyway. Can be a bit weird. Everything. Cut out pictures out of magazines, colour charts, swatches. Honestly, I can't wait. You just remember having your own place comes with its own bills, doesn't it? Yeah, I know that, but I just need some way, you know. Nothing else just to bring somebody back. Mm -hmm. Got someone in mind in particular, have I? My prospective new boss, as it goes. What, the guy who's interviewing you today? We met last night. Oh, details, please. Well, <clears throat> put it this way, he's got a lovely feature wall in his bedroom and I was home before breakfast. Eh, hey, good on you. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, his house is gorgeous. Yeah. As is he. <laughs> he's got all that exposed brickwork in the kitchen. And one of them posh coffee machines. And his fridge, bigger than my bedroom. <laughs> Where did you meet him? We were in a bar on Canal Street and uh, he comes over with a cocktail and a cheesy chap line. Aw, I love that bit at the beginning. All the flirting and the butterflies. <laughs> I remember when I... Uh, my story. Oh, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, one thing led to another and before I could say I'm not that kind of boy, we were back at his place and we were leaving a trailer clothes from the front door to the four-poster. Ooh, very slutty shot. I know. And you know what? I nearly didn't exfoliate or moisturise before the night out because I thought, well, what with my look? What's the point? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I hope he appreciated it. Oh, yes. I mean, I've right, had We don't need to know the ins and outs of your sex life, do we? Oh, I speak for yourself, you. I want to know. Well, then do it on your own time. Oh, charming as usual. Mm -hmm. Right, come on then, how much do I owe you? Uh, just 12.50, please, Sean. Uh, there. Keep change. Oh, thanks. Hey, and uh, good luck with your job interview. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. He's doing that, he He's just... Just babbling on like he usually does. We need milk. 
too much like hard work. Yeah, but well, the actual boxing bit's pretty fun. Apart from anything else, you can take out your frustrations on the punch bag. What do you do? Just imagine David's face in it. I've <laughs> been tempted. Yeah, he's... It's just... He's been a bit odd lately. I don't know, kind of distant. Mm. Well, maybe he's been spending too much time with his, uh, new play date. Hmm, <coughs> maybe. The thing is, David's never really been a bloke's bloke, so maybe he's got this new Bessie mate in Josh. He's just gone a bit old TT. Probably. Hey, look, there's one thing that you can do that Josh can't do, if you know what I mean. So, uh, maybe you should organise a little workout of your own, babes. <laughs> yes, lads. Oh, hot, hot for me, please. And a side of chips and a side of bread and water. Ooh, get you. I open packets and I put them on plates. Now, I love a sausage roll as much as the next greedy person, but uh, I don't think Posh Petra's got anything to worry about with this lot. Oh, no, the Posh food's still in the fridge. She's going to get it out later and impress the parents. It's pathetic. Oh, she just wants it to be nice. I, um... I wonder what we can do until I get back. Not like you to hold back. Oh. Okay, I know it's been a while, but David, slow down. He thinks it's his lucky day. Oh. Sarah's gonna love you. I'll nip to fresh cars. No, no, I'll go. You've got cramp. <sighs> Cheers. Either that or you've gone off me. <laughs> Clown. That's my name. Let's have a rematch. Yeah. You've not lifted a finger. Oh, no sauce. Is something up? No, I just told you I've got cramp, that's all. Right, well, you can put crisps in bowls. If it's not spread to your hands, I'll mop up your mess. Yeah, what we have got his party head on, haven't we? <laughs> you gotta fight for your right to party! To party! Right, come on, you two, upstairs, wash your hands. Oh, my sainted arms. What's happened to you? Oh, my sainted arms. Oh. oh. Right, go on, cheeky chops upstairs. Wash your hands. I tried to salvage what I could. I'm sorry. Oh, David, how difficult is it to put crisps into a bowl? Well, what, you're clocking off now, are you? I'm off to go put a jumper on. Is that allowed? I don't need to fill out some paperwork. Ignore him. What happened? Honestly, I have no idea. Hang on, giant forks and spoons. Oh, how lovely. It's designer. <laughs> Italian fresco. You should come round for a viewing. Oh. Hey, Sam. Oh, hi, girl. Hey, we were about to send out a search party for you. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I got way late, sorry. David, the screen's frozen. Give it here. Oh, Bram, why don't you ask Sally if she's got any news? Oh, Bethany, it's no big deal. But as we speak, Tim's hanging our Italian designer wallpaper. Oh, very posh. I'm just very pleased you're staying put in wet Oh, thank you, Oh, I love that. Do you know, I feel so much brighter and all this horrible stuff is behind us. And who knows what the future might be? Oh, well, I know who doesn't know. Psychic Rosemary. Sorry. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll not go with it. No, come on. Fair's fair. J you were right, Gail. That Maria went on the internet, and you're never going to believe that. The things that that charlatan claimed to know about me and Alfred, well, it was all there, online. You mm, shameless or what? Yes, the only gift that Rosemary's got is an excellent memory. How much about your eternity ring? I mean, she hit the name on the head there, didn't she? 
Well, unless Bet Lynch has got an online blog. But she didn't mention Bet Lynch. She just said a peroxide blonde and they're ten a penny round here, aren't they? Anyway, you've changed it, Julie. Still with you. <laughs> well, I heard it was Harry's birthday, so I brought us something noisy for the adults. <laughs> Thank you. You're right, David. But I'm not going to intrude, so... Uh, no, you're not. you're not. Yeah, it's fine. All right, nice. Hi, Josh. I wonder if you could help get your pal into a better frame of mind, please. Oh, I'm a personal trainer, not a miracle worker. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is for you. How are you doing? Oh. Hey, birthday boy, look at this. Thank you very much. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's very, very nice. Oh, it's nice. 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 Got to put his marigolds on. Don't want to ruin them silky hairdresser hands. <laughs> oh, you'll make someone a lovely wife. Job well, job. Mm. Fancy a cuppa? Always. Oh, I say, good of you to make an appearance. Oh, Josh said to say goodbye. Oh, he's so good, isn't he, with those little ones, Josh? What's with the bag? I'm taking the kids to Liverpool to see my dad before I am a grown. I mean. Seriously? Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a sea change. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. Well, yeah, we are. Yeah, it's, it's hard to keep track of you. Isn't it their bedtime? No, they're high as kites. Uh, what about school? Well, that's my problem. Uh, what about the salon? That's your problem. Oh, charming. Mm. Right, give me two ticks. I'll grab my toothbrush. Well, I thought I'd just take them. Oh? <laughs> well, I can keep on the couch car. You're the boss? Right, I'll go around them up. You do that. It can be a right so-and-so. Hmm, you're not kidding. No. Oh, whoa. It's all of me. What are you doing? Making you a cup of tea. Is that a problem? No. No, thanks. What are you staring at? Oh, sorry. You having a bad dream? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting nursing fact. Bad dreams are often stress-related. Something you want to talk about? Not really, no. I wanted to see you. Oh, well. <laughs> That's really not like you. Something's definitely not right. Are you ill? <laughs> hey, get off. <laughs> hey. David, can we go to the park with Robin? Uh, I don't know. No, might not be safe. Please, Daddy. Lil, I've said no. What are you on about? They'll be fine. Robin takes Charlotte there all the time. Yeah, well, these are my kids. Go up and get changed. You can play in the garden. I can keep an eye on you then. What's up with you? Nothing. All right, just get off my case. Just pass me that toast. 
There you go. Uh, and your own today? Yeah, it's just me and Hope today. Oh, how come? I was not in Dad's smart Ruby. <laughs> it was something and nothing. Come on, you. Hey, Audrey. Hi, Fizz. Oh, thought they were sorting things out. Mm, easy said than done. <sighs> what can I get you? Cappuccino, please. Have you heard from David? Um, no, no. I've been telephoning and leaving messages. And... Look. It's good he's gone to see Martin. Hopefully he'll sort everything out, right? Well, if he doesn't, I'll give him a kick up the backside for you. <laughs> I'll bring it over. All right. Here you go. Yeah. yeah, I was saying to Robin, we probably could have got more for this at auction, but, well, we needed the sale, really, so... Uh... So I killed her and put her body in the river. <sighs> You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Yeah, you have something about the house. <laughs> right. So how long we got you for? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably have this and get off in a minute. You've only just got here. Well, I've just got stuff to do. Right. Well, you going to have something to eat? No, I'm all right. You've got to have something. Well, I'm not hungry. <laughs> You've only had a bit of toast. Yeah, well, I'm not a kid anymore. I can decide when I want to eat, when all I don't right, want to eat. All right, all right. What's got into you? No, just you, pecking me out. Mm. Pecking your head? Yeah. I'm trying to give you some food. You know, I don't know, you turn up unexpected, you're in a foul mood, and then we don't get a chance to catch up. Just leave it, will you? You know, when you were little, I could always tell when you'd done something wrong. Well, someone's upset, yeah? You know, I've not done anything wrong this time. Oh. So someone's upset, yeah? Well, I used to pick you up and make you tell me you'd done it. And then I sort it out. Although, most of the time, it was your mum, to be fair. Hey, you're a bit too big for me to pick up now. Hey. But he still can tell me. He was upset, yeah. And I can still sort it out. It's not easy. I know. I think I know what it is anyway. Speaking to your mum. And what's she say? Oh, she says that you're angry with me for moving away and not telling you. Yeah, I am. And I understand that. Although it wasn't too long ago that I was angry with you. When? Well, for wanting to take my grandkids off to Barbados. Well, you never said. Well, it didn't happen, did it? Look, I just want my kids to have a better life than I did, and I think going to New Zealand is going to be perfect. It's beautiful, it's safe, there's no crime. I've got myself a well-paid job, lovely house, overlooking a lake. What do you think? I don't know, maybe we could come and visit? Yeah, of course you can. We've got loads of rooms. You can have your own annex. Well, I've already got my own annex. Oh, yeah. Well... Well, my buddy, Andre, eh? Hello. Oh. Hi. Sweet you morning, right? guys. Did you have fun with your granddad? Yeah. And yeah. um, what was the best bit? Missing school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you doing, David? Hmm? Yeah, OK. I was glad I saw my dad before he left. Yeah, well, I, I hope it's helped you sort things out a bit. Mm. Yeah, it did. Oh. Get, tell me that recipe again, Gail. Oh, Go on. Mum, I've told you once. You all right? You seem better. Yeah, I'm just sorry I've not been myself. It's all right. You've always been a grumpy git. I'm used to it. Well, seeing my dad, that has got me thinking about stuff. In a good way, I hope. 
Yeah. And I've made a decision. I think we should move to New Zealand as well. Move to New Zealand? And why not? My dad is. You hardly see him. And now you're emigrating with him. What about me? Well, come with us. I can't leave Nick and Sarah and Bethany needs us now after what she's been Mom, through. Mom, Nick doesn't even live here anymore. Look, our whole lives are here, David. We can't just uproot everything as a drop of a hat. And what about the house? Well, I'll sell it. And where am I going to live? Well, to be honest, Gail, I couldn't give a monkeys. I'm doing this for the kids. I mean, they, they can play out. It's more safe. Oh, what? Your kids can play out. What about mine? He's in prison. What difference does it make if you're here or not? He's my son and I want to visit him and I want to be here for when he gets out. Well, I don't. <sighs> I'll put the kettle on. We need to talk about this sensibly. Look, I've squared it with me dad, all right? We can stay at his until we find his own place, right? Job done. I'm off to work. To talk about this. Talked about it. And that's it? Pretty much, yeah. You can't just tell me we're moving to the other side of the world and expect no questions. Well, it doesn't have to be we. Why are you being like this? Because you've made your priorities pretty clear. You don't want to move away from Clayton. Well, would you want to move away from Max? No, but then he's not murdered anyone, has he? What is going on with you? Nothing is going on with me, all right? I'm not acting like anything. I wish everybody would stop hassling me. I'm moving my kids to New Zealand. You can either come with me or stay here. It's up to you. It's meant to be a great country. It's where they filmed um, Lord of the Rings. What about all my friends? Well, you can make new ones there, can't you? Better ones, even. Honestly, it'd be the best thing we ever did. Even if it means leaving me behind. Well, I don't want to leave you behind, but it's got to be your choice. Don't pretend you're being reasonable. Does going away mean more to you than I do? Well, does staying here mean more to you than me and the kids? Hey, buddy. All right. What are you doing here? Come through. Okay. Look, uh, I've just got you some contacts you might need. About the move. Right. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, Dad, this is Shona. Shona, this is my dad. Oh, so we meet at last. I thought he was ashamed of me. No, I'm sure it wasn't you. Uh, look, guys, uh, if you're in the middle of something... No, 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 it's not important. I'm late for work. It's nice to meet you, Martin. Bye. Everything okay? Yeah, she's just not much of a morning person, really. Mm. Actually, she's not much of a nighttime person, is she? I mean, there's about half an hour in the afternoon when she's okay. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, like you're easy to live with. <laughs> so, is she all right with moving? Oh, she'll get used to it. Mm. Well, it's a big move. You've got to be certain. Oh, no, I am. I am. But uh, listen, I need to get these to school, but are you going to be around later? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd uh, say a few hellos and goodbyes. Drop in on Kev. Right. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you this afternoon, yeah? Yeah, sure. Uh, say goodbye, kids. Bye. Bye. See ya. Right, come on, you. Sulky pants. The poached steak, you said? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't look like this at my age by accident. I have to take care of myself. By having a poached egg with your sausage and bacon barb. What's next? A uh, diet cola with your kebab. Small changes can make a big difference. Mm, you sound like Gail. She's taken probably one glass of wine. That's admirable. Uh, you should see the glass. It should come with a lifeguard. I did see her earlier. She, she was asking if there were any ships going. Gail? What did you say? Well, I told her there weren't any. I was unsure how you would feel about working alongside your, your partner's mother. Uh, excuse me, Gail was after a job? Uh, just part-timer. She did imply that money was a bit tight. Actually, she, she seemed quite upset when I saw her yesterday. She was in the bistro with a strange-looking woman. Strange, in what way? Well, she was attractive enough, but um, seemed a bit quite well, tense. Oh, Rosemary. Rosemary? Who oh, is Rosemary? Yeah, she's tough as old boots, is my grand. Thought you'd be a bit more concerned, if I'm honest. Well, she sprained her ankle. I doubt they're going to rush her to intensive care. Anyway, I've got bigger things on my mind. You're definitely going then. Yep. How does Shona feel about it? Well, I'm not going to twist her arm. 
So you'd really leave her and all your family behind on a whim? Well, it's not a whim, is it? I've hated it round here for ages. I was going to go to Barbados, remember? Yeah, but that was different, wasn't it? Yeah, well, everything was different then. That's why I need to go. No, I understand that. Have you thought about it all properly, though? Well, whatever it's like, it's got to be an improvement on round here. No, no, I didn't mean that. It's just... The last salon course that I went on, there was this girl there who wanted to go to Australia to do hairdressing, but they weren't looking for hairdressers over there, so they wouldn't give her a visa. Well, that's Australia. And anyway, my dad's not had a problem. Yeah, but he's a nurse, isn't he? I don't know, I just... I'd speak to the embassy if I was you before you make too many more plans. Look, you should... I'd say it was a break. No, no, that's the last thing she needs with her job. Hmm. Has anyone told David? I think Maria was going to do it. Mm. Well, with Audrey off her feet, it might put him, uh, put him off coming down to New Zealand with us. David's emigrating. Oh, sorry, this is Josh. This is uh, David's mate. Hi. Oh, hello. Yeah. I'm his dad. Oh. Well, when did he decide this? Last couple of days. What has he thought it through? I mean, I know he's been a bit up and down recently, but I aim to do something he'd regret. No. Oh, whoa. Oh. Follow me. What are you doing? Making you a cup of tea. Is that a problem? No. No, thanks. What are you staring at? Oh, sorry. You having a bad dream? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting nurse, in fact. Bad dreams are often stress-related. Something you want to talk about? Not really, no. I wanted to see you. Oh, well. <laughs> That's really not like you. Something's definitely not right. Are you ill? <laughs> hey, get off. <laughs> hey. David, can we go to the park with Robin? Uh, I don't know. No, might not be safe. Please, Daddy. Lil, I've said no. What are you on about? They'll be fine. Robin takes Charlotte there all the time. Yeah, well, these are my kids. Go up and get change. You can play in the garden. I can keep an eye on you then. What's up with you? Nothing. All right, just get off my case. Just pass me that toast. There you go. There you go. Uh, and you're on today? Yeah, it's just me and Hope today. Oh, how come? I was not in Dad Smack Ruby. <laughs> it was something and nothing. Come on, you. Hey, Audrey. Hi, please. Oh, thought they were sorting things out. Mm, easy said than done. <sighs> what can I get you? Cappuccino, please. Have you heard from David? Um, no, no. I've been telephoning and leaving messages. And... Look. It's good he's gone to see Martin. Hopefully he'll sort everything out, right? Well, if he doesn't, I'll give him a kick up the backside for you. <laughs> I'll bring it over. All right. Here you go. Yeah. yeah, I was saying to Robin, we probably could have got more for this at auction, but well, we needed the sale, really, so... Uh... So I killed her and put her body in the river. <sighs> You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Yeah. You have something about the house. <laughs> right. So how long we got you for? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably have this and get off in a minute. You've only just got here? Well, I've just got stuff to do. Right. Well, you going to have something to eat? No, I'm all right. got to have something. Well, I'm not hungry. <laughs> You've only had a bit of toast. Yeah, well, I'm not a kid anymore. I can decide when I want to eat, when all I don't right, want to eat. All right, all right. What's got into you? No, it's you, pecking me head. Mm. Pecking your head? Yeah. I've been trying to give you some food. You know, I don't know, you turn up unexpected, you're in a foul mood, and then we don't get a chance to catch up. Just leave it, will you? You know, when you were little, I could always tell when you'd done something wrong. Well, someone's upset you. Yeah? You know, I've not done anything wrong this time. Oh. So someone's upset you? 
Well, I used to pick you up and make you tell me who'd done it. And then I sort it out. Although, most of the time, it was your mum, to be fair. Hey, you're a bit too big for me to pick up now. Hey. But he still can tell me who's upset you. And I can still sort it out. she say? Oh, she says that you're angry with me for moving away and not telling you. Yeah, I am. And I understand that. Although it wasn't too long ago that I was angry with you. When? Well, for wanting to take my grandkids off to Barbados. Well, you never said. Well, it didn't happen, did it? Look, I just want my kids to have a better life than I did, and I think going to New Zealand is going to be perfect. It's beautiful, it's safe, there's no crime. I've got myself a well-paid job, lovely house, overlooking a lake. What do you think? I don't know, maybe we could come and visit? Yeah, of course you can. We've got loads of rooms. You can have your own annex. Well, I've already got my own annex. Oh, yeah. Well... One more body under it, eh? Hello! Oh. Hi! Do you right? guys? Do you have fun with your granddad? Yeah. yeah. And what was the best bit? Missing school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you doing, David? Hmm? Yeah? Okay. I was glad I saw my dad before he left. Yeah, well, I, I hope it's helped you sort things out a bit. Mm. Yeah, it did. Oh, get, tell me that recipe again, Gail. Oh, Go on. Mum, I've told you once. You all right? You seem better. Yeah, I'm just sorry I've not been myself. It's all right. You've always been a grumpy git. I'm used to it. Well, seeing my dad that has got me thinking about stuff. In a good way, I hope. Yeah. And I've made a decision. I think we should move to New Zealand as well. Move to New Zealand? Well, why not? My dad is. You hardly see him. And now you're emigrating with him. What about me? Well, come with us. I can't leave Nick and Sarah and Bethany needs us now after what she's been Mom, through. Mom, Nick doesn't even live here anymore. Look, our whole lives are here, David. We can't just uproot everything as a drop of a house. And um, what about the house? Well, I'll sell it. And where am I going to live? Well, to be honest, Gail, I couldn't give a monkeys. I'm doing this for the kids. I mean, they, they can play out. It's more safe. Oh, what, your kids can play out? What about mine? He's in prison. What difference does it make if you're here or not? He's my son, and I want to visit him, and I want to be here for when he gets out. Well, I don't. <sighs> I'll put the kettle on. We need to talk about this sensibly. Look, I've squared it with me dad, all right? We can stay at his until we find his own place, right? Job done. I'm off to work. To talk about this. <sighs> Talked about it. And that's it? Pretty much, yeah. You can't just tell me we're moving to the other side of the world and expect no questions. Well, it doesn't have to be we. Why are you being like this? Because you've made your priorities pretty clear. You don't want to move away from Clayton. Well, would you want to move away from Max? No, but then he's not murdered anyone, has he? What is going on with you? Nothing is going on with me, all right? I'm not acting like anything. I wish everybody would stop hassling me. I'm moving my kids to New Zealand. You can either come with me or stay here. It's up to you. 